Okay, uh, I have to turn the, the traction on. My car got like a, the snow thing because the track is quite slippery and I have to drive on the, the lower gear to go downhill because it's, um, it's quite narrow down, like it's very steep. Okay. Oh, oh that's a long way down. It doesn't look scary from the camera, but I don't suggest um, the weather like this, the condition like this is a bit wet. I don't suggest um, the two wheel drive to come here. Um, this could be tricky, but you may make it, but I don't suggest. But today is not too bad. I know it's been raining, but it's all good now. I'm gonna leave the car here and then I'm gonna start walking because um, the track is actually close I would have thought I can go a bit further closer to the walking track but for some reason is um, the track is closed because of the the weather's been pretty bad lately so um, I gotta leave the car here and heading out over there there where the walking track I don't know would take me like six seven hours to walk and come back here but before that maybe making some lunch let's check it out okay the fire trail close ahead and walker so we can't even walk because of the flood repair so look like we have to turn around Oh well, maybe have to pick some other day then, when it's dry. At the moment, um, I don't know, maybe I try to go somewhere else. And um, yeah, you can see all the mud on the tires, just not even all terrain. So going to be tough. All right. Let's try somewhere else, huh? Good morning guys, um, it's me again. Uh, today I just come out to um, Blue Mountain to doing a bit of, um, I want to do a hiking today but the weather is um, pretty, um, like as we all know it's been raining and all that. So a lot of track and um, uh, the walk, hiking track and all that shut down. And um, I just went down to the bottom there and um, the road is the road is closed because um, the track is actually collapsed and um, I think they try to fix it but clearly they say it's got no uh, it's not allowed anyone to go in there at the moment so um, I don't know just uh, maybe um, try to go somewhere else have a look I already put my head into it I want to come and hiking today the weather is not very good, still uh, drizzling, like it's a bit raining, the sun is um, very um, hardly there. So now I'm walk back to my car and um, try a different track. 
Okay. All right, this is not a show pony as I told you guys. Um, it's actually been very good, been um, everywhere, even it just went down there, a bit, do a bit of off-road. But the thing is, maybe I need to get the car jack up a bit because you see all the mud there. Yeah. Whew. Okay, even um, under the muffler, they got a bit of mud. Okay, beside us is um, all good. As you can see, the road condition, like, it's not too bad, like, if, you know, your car is uh, four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. And um, I have to turn on my, um, um, the snow, whatever you call that, traction. Okay, so, um, while I'm here, I probably want to go through a little bit what I have done to, um, uh, the car recently all right so as you can see um, I got my um, <clears throat> my stove in there and um, actually this thing just to support the middle here when it's um, bouncing on the you know when I go off track so because nothing in the middle here okay so um a lot of people might concern that the way it's set up I can get the spare tires out um, obviously, you can see the spare tire, but you can't get them out. Let me get this out. Alright, so the spare tire down here. Alright, and if in case of emergency or anything, I need to get the spare tire out. All I need to do is just remove that. Okay. I have a bracket there, just to stop it to, um, from its swing from side to side. But it's just actually just um, double sided tape to tape this one here, but this one locked down to the, the platform. So I need to do is just lift the fridge out and then um, I just track the drawer out to make it lighter and then I just lift this platform up and that's it pretty much. And then I can get the my spare tires out. Also, um, <clears throat> Alright, so I used to have the kitchen bench up here in the past on my last video or something, but now I just do it down here. So, uh, let me get this out. Uh, hang on, let me put it down. Okay. Alright, so what I have here, I have the my kitchen actually I can stand in here cooking you know do whatever I want to do instead of I carry the big uh, picnic table and all that kind of thing I just do it here this little piece of wood here is just for my um, when I put everything on the ground if it's not you know like flat or something I just put something on top of that okay as I said like when I bought this um, fish slide and it's, um, it's got like a hole right there I mean if you have free slide you know what is what they're talking about here so I cut the metal sheet and I put it there so um, now I can use this you know to make coffee doing cooking lunch whatever instead of I pull a lot of thing out and it's just too much hassle I try to carry minimum like that my concept so when we don't need it we just put this <sighs> Put this one back in and it stay right there without you you not even notice it okay and um, usually my um, thing the stove the portable gas stove is go in here but today I just I'm not here for camping so I just chuck it in here for now because I not having my stuff with me today all right so with my the controller box here I didn't explain to you guys a few of you um, wondering um, <clears throat> uh, what this thing is okay all right I connect this thing separately when you buy this you don't get that you don't get that and um, I connect this one to the box here so what this one for is um, this for me to um, chart with ACDC or the two, 220 volt or 200 
40 volt like a you know the standard house power and all that so I can connect this all I need to do is just um, undo my um, solar panel thing and then um, I just plug this the cable here somewhere it's right there I don't know if you can see it I just connect them together and then it's plug into the the main power from home that's it very simple and easy okay so the reason I have it there just to make it look nice and neat like nothing special just make it look nice and you know like not put it or keep it loose somewhere just keep it right there all right so this is my um, so I can see how many volt do I have um, left in my main car battery this one here so if I because I plug into the to the car socket all right let me turn the car on and then I show you what I mean okay just turn it on and then um, you can see it's come up that for my main car battery there okay so it's not the best but yep so at least a key I, I can I can monitor my um, my um, primary um, my primary um, batteries so I know like how many volt I have left on that battery there and then they got this one here got this one there to monitoring my my um, the battery that I run all this stuff here I got a battery right in there I cover them up so it's look better look nice and neat it doesn't expose and you see I got all the power running down there okay so at the moment I got 120 amp in there and um, I got another one at home is a 300 amp that for my long trip like when they're going away for a long long time so I just um, want to you know try to use swap them because um, I don't want to keep one and sit at, in the garage for, for a long long time so even now and then they're gonna use you know depend where I'm going and all that and um, this is a uh, inverter so this inverter is coming in uh, come in handy when um, I normally don't use it much but I do sometimes just say like say if I go camping in the bush or something let me put this back. say if I go camping in the bush or something and I got that power saw you know it's not like a chainsaw it's a power saw and um, I just plug this in it and I just cut the wood and timber whatever I found in the in the bush it's come in handy or you're charging your laptop you know have a toaster or even um, like commercial um, you know like commercial what do you call that thing the the stove commercial stove that's it that's the word I'm looking for all right guys so I'm um, pretty much um, it's not much going on today and um, I try to find um, another trail to go to and um, I'm very keen to um, do a bit of walking today all right so like this is the, um, the light that I have you know it's, it's, it's very very good like it's very bright and um, at night when you out somewhere very dark it's, it's very good okay so um this is my i think this is the final setup i'm not going to change it anymore because um, i have tried so many ways to make it the best and um, to make it simple and um, good practice if you know what i'm what i try to say like i want everything to be practical and um, i want to make sure because the car is not big car i don't want to um you know like overdone it I don't want to carry too much stuff in the car and um, the car haven't been lifted up and um, just got the standard tires on the car so um, I don't want to carry too many stuff and um, it's gonna 
that gonna actually you know load the car down when it's too heavy that kind of thing so I try to carry everything that I really needed when I say I really need it like example like the fridge I really need it you can't leave it at the fridge okay? because the fridge is um like you can keep fresh meat in there you know some drink and all that I mean look it's 30 liters people asking me how much you can put in there the answer is it's not much like you can't put much in here so say if you're going away somewhere if you're planning to go somewhere for a few days say two or three days on the campsite you probably need that to put all the fresh meat and vegetable and then you have another esky to put all your drink and all that stuff okay and um, when you're on campsite you start to use all your meat and vegetable and all that you're gonna have some room to put your drink in there you know like to keep it nice and cold and um, but for me it's um, like I said before I travel from place to places like I'm not um, I go camping I do camping like you know one or twice a month but um, mainly I use my car for a longer trip like go from here in into the state or somewhere further out so mainly i when i drive and then when i'm low on supplies then i stop at the shop when i come across at the shop and then i just top them up so it's no big deal for me you know because i'm a solo person here and this drawer is it's do the job like it's not big not massive but it does can store a lot of things in there if you know how to you know put them in nicely usually down here um all right usually down here what I have is um, I have that mat, like an exercise mat, go in here. You know when I use it for camping. So I, anything that can fit in here, I put it in here. And um, so I minimize some space for behind my back seat because um, on my back seat I usually have um, like some the bag of my clothes and you know the what do you call the swag and. Um, whatever or the gear that I need to put at the back all right so I want to show you my kitchen thing all right let me I gotta stop this is my camera bag my small esky all right what I have done with this I want to show you is very handy here this is a tackle box, like you use for like tool box, fishing box, whatever you want. What I do is just um store all my kitchen stuff, right? Like sauce, you know, uh, seasoning and all that. And in here, I just have I carry minimum stuff with me here. I got I use a paper, um, what do you call the paper bags, and um, like pots and pan, or I mean like some pot, some cup, some bowl whatever like so like, easy for me to install them somewhere and when I need it I take it out it's very easy to um, you know organize so and then I keep my my pots and pan in here let me bring it out show you I try like I said I try to keep everything minimum and not over carry so this oh this is my my pans my cooking pan and then um, I use uh, the paper plates you know so I don't have to worry about cleaning it when I finish and this is the tackle box keep all my you know spoon intenso whatever you call it you know for the kitchen so it's handy and easy to find like this is the sort of thing like you don't if you want to try to minimize space you try to carry minimum you know less weight for your car maybe you can should consider about this stuff come in handy the stuff you have in your garage and um, this is my food supplies I mean I keep all my dry food in here you know like noodle is the must and um, yeah that's it man if anyone wondering why 
I use this kind of car. I like to say this car is this car is um it's good enough like it's good enough I don't need anything big bulky and um, you know I'm I don't go extreme <clears throat> this car capable to go off-road okay all right so I have a solar panel here I show you guys before I have a solar panel up there and it's um, actually connect and run direct to my box over there and then um, go around charge my uh, battery 24 7 so at the moment I don't need to charge my battery I just leave it on all the time and um, that box there will do the job if one one is um, the battery is fully charged that thing will cut off automatically so I don't need to do anything the battery always stay the same like 13.1 13.3 so pretty much like 80 90 percent at the moment on because look at this the weather overcast and the panel the solar panel still you know receive some energy from the Sun and I'm um, still charging that so I can go off grid and stay as long as I want as long as I have the food and the water and my water is um, okay I, that this is my this is my two bags like I carry the two with me and this is my water so basically what I do is um, I just leave the water say right there you know on my campsite and I just use it okay I don't need to carry big drum of water because I'm not going to Simpson um, desert or anything like that so I just carry what I need to be carrying so to minimize I still got plenty of room here got a lot of room to chuck all the stuff in okay guys that's it like I said this is not a show pony and one more thing I told you before this is a king um, shower curtain it's just like an awning you pull it out it's kind of like a square drop the curtain down then you have privacy good for you to have a toilet like if you have a portable toilet you can sit in there or you want to get changed get dressed whatever have a shower I got my shower bag I got the 12 volt pump shower shower pump and um, when you go camping and if you want to go somewhere remote like this is um, you have to be prepared just carry what you need to carry don't over carry it all right guys I'm gonna go try to find another track and um, yeah see what I can do today the weather is not very great Woo. you know the rain come and go and you can see the track is wet but that's not gonna stop me when you got nothing to do all right you gotta pack this shit up and then I head off um guys just one more thing before I go I want to mention this this is very important too I want everyone to um, keep this in mind before you go somewhere camping or doing anything the rubbish make sure you bring the plastic bag or the rubbish bag with you all the time because a lot of shopping or a lot of a lot of camping site um, they got no bin for you so whatever you bring take it with you to save our environment and um, stop from the government make it too strictly um, about camping you know because um, a lot of places people go there and leave all the shit behind and the council the government the national park they're not happy with it so what they do they shut down or they keep increasing campsite fee so please take it with you and um just be good you know like we all want to go out there enjoy have a good time so at the same time you got to look after with the place that where you go and um try not to be a selfish 
you know and also when you camping at night i know you out there try to having a good time but make sure you keep your noise down like try not to disturb the next people next to you or something like that you know just um look just be fair you know like you want to go out there having a good time you want to relax and um you want to have somewhere nice and peaceful so just keep everything down to yourself like especially like after 7 7 30 8 o'clock some people go sleep very early so just keep your noise down and once you're done with your camping take rub the rubbish with you okay guys i see you next video